Whoa, lots of snow here in Canada. It's everywhere. bath time video <laughs> crazy hair from shoveling snow talking about puppets we're talking about puppets here i am here hi my sonica tears hello my sonica tears sega girl here hello my sonica tears sega girl here in the bath it is another bath time video and i was talking in my last video about little big planet for the ps vita and it is like a puppet type game he is a puppet somewhat or is he a stuffy Anyways, another game that I really love that has puppets and I absolutely love it is for the PS3 and it would be amazing to have a remake or a re-release on the Switch or the PS5, PS4, or the PS4 is Puppeteers. This game was first released in Japan. It was developed by a studio called Japan Studio and directed by a man called Yavin Moore and published by Sony. It was released in September... 2013 worldwide first in japan then europe and then in north america you play as a little puppet step into the realm of fantasy this game is adorable it is so nice and it's getting so expensive this game has gone up a lot in price like crazy price i'm so happy i grabbed this before covid hit or was it the first year of covid hitting something like that here is uh, the spine and you may know or might not know yet um, the PS3 is region free, so you can pick up this game worldwide. You can get the Japanese version, but there is some reading and there's voice, and I'm not sure if it's going to be in English. It's probably going to be in Japanese. So it's best to get North American or European version. <sighs> I gotta have a bath, so check out the trailer. I'm gonna go have a bath, guys. You guys watch the trailer while I get wet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. The show will begin any moment now. Once upon a time, before everything went to rack and ruin, the moon realm was ruled by a beautiful goddess. But then, little bear, for whom the moon goddess had shown nothing but love, stole two of his mistress's precious possessions. The black moonstone and a magic pair of scissors known as calibers. After declaring himself Moon Bear King, he invaded the goddess's castle, smashed the white moonstone to pieces. Once upon a time, try once upon a now. This is my story. So just get to the part where I sound good. Uh, there you gave a piece of the white moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large. Now, where do I begin? In a faraway land, an evil king steals away the souls of children and turns them into wooden puppets. Our hero, Kutaro, is the evil king's latest victim. With the help of a mysterious witch, Kutaro steals the evil king's magic scissors. his way home again, Kutaro must embark on an epic journey to defeat the kingdom's 12 generals and eventually face the evil king himself. <laughs> the end! Oh, how dare you write an ending without me? This is my story! Curse you all! I'll teach you to make a fool of me! All of you, especially you, Kutaro. I'll strain you up if it's the last thing I do. It seems the Moon Bear King wasn't quite ready to live happily ever after. No, he still had lots of unhappiness to go round. ago in a galaxy far from far away. 
Prepare for an astonishing adventure full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry. At stake were not just one boy's fate, but the fate of the whole moon, and the earth, and the sun, and galaxy. The boy sniffed, sliced, and sundered with a cold realization his life counted on it. The flimsy soul of a selfish boy had become the adamantine soul of a hero. Kutaro made the forceps, <coughs> I mean scissors, be with him. Today's tale, the perilous journey of a boy named Kutoro, taken from his home and turned into a puppet by the Moon Bear King. Armed with a pair of magic scissors, Kutoro must slice, shear, and slash his way through a harrowing quest. Here we go! Time to disappear, you pest! Can he cut the strings on this fiendish plot? Or will he remain a puppet forever? Prepare for an astonishing adventure full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry meant to astound the eye and capture the human soul. Love, love artsy games. You guys already know this. I am a big artsy, fartsy gamer person. I love games with different art. Love artsy games. So that was the three trailers. The Puppeteer Story, the Puppeteer E3 trailer, and the Puppeteer Launch trailer. This game takes my breath away. I absolutely love this game and I miss it. I miss it. I'm kind of thinking of just grabbing a third party controller with a wire for my PS3. That's how much I love it. Have you played this game? It is an incredible game, a hidden gem, and I hope you find a copy. Oh, wow. Puppeteer is selling at $151, $151 dollars Canadian, $119.99, just a disc 75. That's expensive. I think it paid like $39 or $40. This is crazy. I love this game so much. So Puppeteer is a side-scrolling game where you control a little fella, a little puppet called Kutaro. A boy changed into an animated puppet. You can play this game as 2D or 3D. Did you even know that? <laughs> so there's two ways to play this. It is best played in 3D. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Um, I just play however version I was playing, but now I need to fix my PS3 controllers. So Katoro, so Katoro, the puppet boy, he is immediately turned into a puppet and immediately decapitated. And through the game, the character Kataro obtains um, different heads. Set in a magical theatre run by this strange eccentric character called Gregorius Theodore Oswald. And then the story that's being told is this strange, weird tale about a boy who's snatched away from the earth, shoves his body into a wooden puppet. He then upsets this evil Moonbear King who pulls off his head, eats it, and throws him away. But he manages to, to get up, run around, and with the help of a strange, weird cat, he finds these different objects that he can use as heads. And he gets sent on this adventure to try and get his way back home. So only Gavin says it best than me. He has a British accent. He knows how many heads um, and how he lost his head. This guy ate it. And then this cat helped him get different heads. 
So let's hear more of what Gavin has to say. Well, basically, they're the generals of our evil king, the Moon Bear King. And he's the ultimate ruler of the moon. And in your adventure, you're going to have to face off against each one of these. But they all have their own different personalities. So that way in the game, we kind of bring that into those boss fights as you go through the game. So everything changes all the time in Puppeteer. As I say, that's one of the main things. So those boss battles too are all different. I have a yellow head. It's not a banana head. It's a yellow head. That's one of the best things about the boss fights. They're all different and you have a different head all the time. Nothing is the same in this game. Everything is different. Everything is mind-blowing. The reason that we went for a platformer was that, you know, that's where I started off. But it's also the language of games. Even non-gamers know how to move a stick left and right to move your character and press X to jump. We were kind of layering on top of a very basic language that everybody knew. Platforms are one of my favorite genre. Other than visual novels, puzzle games, artsy fartsies, and weird old stuff, weird games. The platforms have always been one of my top favorite game styles to play. First head that I received was a panda head. Second head was a SpongeBob head. And that's just me personally with all my heads, you know, if I was in a game. But this is the actual heads, the 21 heads Kuron gets. So you got all these heads right here on the screen. The first head that I have received was the skull head. I also got the mummy head is next to the acorn and the blowfish head. I've never gotten the fish caterpillar. There's a banana. There is a clock and a ghost head, a teacup head, a panda head. Oh my God. There are so many adorable heads. So that is the many heads that puppeteer has. He has 21 heads. And that's cool. I think I'm most proud of the huge amount of variety in this game. You will never see the same thing again. So every single model that's been made is made. You might run past it in two seconds. You'll never see it again. Everything is hand animated. So as I say, my staff hate me. They're so proud of it because it's pure craftsmanship. Puppeteer is a hidden gem. It's pure gold of art and amazing platforming. Oh, dude, I don't have a, dude, I don't have a lot of bubbles. I wish I had a lot of bubbles in here because I'm like crouched front. I think last time I filmed in the bath, I had tons of bubbles. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. I'll see you all in the next adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and maybe share, because I am in the back. <laughs> See you on the next adventure. If you know any other puppeteer puppet games, leave a comment below. Upcoming or old games. Thank you, and see you soon for me. And uh, I think Sonic is not in this video. Sonic. Sonic is here. And he's going to see my white boobies. Puppeteer, look, I am a puppeteer. Mommy, I'm a puppeteer, 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 puppeteer. This is horrible makeup. Oh, terrible makeup. Puppeteers with like a smiley face. Oh, that's better. Now I feel like a puppeteer. Look at me, mommy. Puppeteer, puppeteer. Look, I am a puppeteer. <laughs> I'm smiling. So now I gotta take off the makeup. So don't color your face unless you mean it. And imagine if these were real tattoos, even worse. <laughs> don't tattoo your face, children of the North or children of the future. Tattoo your butt, but don't tattoo your face. <laughs> Anyways, that is one of my favorite games, Puppeteers. It is amazing. Pointy eyebrows are in 2023 now. I look good. That's why all the men like me. <laughs> Ooh. See you on the next adventure, guys. Peace. Anyways, I'm dreaming of Vita right now. And I have some Sega stuff to show you on another video. 
and I still gotta do my PS1 video and I'm supposed to have a video out today. Another one. Don't know if it's gonna happen. If not today, then tomorrow. It's my part two of upcoming games in March and it's March already. I failed in that, in that part of making videos. Having a video out early can be challenging today. Can be challenging sometimes, you know? A lot of work editing. That's what I need. An editor, a producer, uh, I'm everything. <laughs>